I am now going to show you a program using the switch case statement how to develop a very simple calculator which does addition of two numbers, subtraction of two numbers, multiplication of two numbers and not the division but it should do the modulus of two numbers okay or the mod. Okay, I'll take out this division and mod of two numbers. So what I want is I want this program to ask the user to enter an option and then provide him with the list of options 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Suppose let's say the user enters 3, it should multiply the two numbers and print the result. So what I have done is in order to achieve this particular screen, I have declared this printf enter option and I have presented the 5 options to the user. Then using scanf, I have read the option because option is of the short data type. I have used percentage h i. Then the next thing is after I read the option, I should use the switch case statement to do addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. So let's try to use the switch case. Switch based on the value of the option, I am going to do different things. So here case can be 1, okay. 1 is addition, case can be 2, alright, case can be 3, case can be 4 or case can be 5 which is the default. That means if he enters any other thing, he is basically quitting. So what I am going to do here is in the first line, if he is selected 1, that means I am going to say addition of A plus B of percentage D plus percentage D is equal to percentage D. So what I am saying is A comma B that is A plus B is equal to A plus B. Alright, so this should give me the result. So A plus B is equal to this much. Maybe I should put the equal to this side. Okay, that's the more natural way of looking as in maths than this side. So I should say A plus B is a comma a comma b all right so if it is addition of two numbers it's going to add them and it's going to print the result all right so you'll only know it once we run it then what you have to do is after every switch there is a break statement i'll show you what happens if you don't put the break now what i'm going to do is i'm almost going to do the same for the next two things instead of addition i am going to do subtraction here subtraction all right of this is minus this also should be minus then after subtraction i do have multiplication so i'm going to say multiplication okay multiplication is a into b and last what i'm going to have i'm going to have modulus so let's paste this chap here. Remainder is, so this should be is. I'll just remove this is, not required. Okay, because we're just trying to understand the concept. We're not interested in the English here. So this is equal to percentage D mod percentage D. So here what I'm going to do here is I'm going to replace this with the mod operator and last I am going to just print the message printf quitting okay nothing more I don't require the break statement for default because after that it's just going to pop out all right so let me first try to explain this problem to you then we can go ahead and try to run it so what I am doing is I have declared a variable called as option of the data type short I have declared a and b which are going to store two integer numbers the user is going to enter. Then I am providing a menu with different options and asking the user to enter an option. User enters an option. So based on the option, if option is 1, I am going to do addition. Option is 2, I am going to do subtraction. Option is 3, I am going to do, this should be multiplication. All right. Option 3 is multiplication. Option 4, I am doing the mod or the remainder operation. Now, the reason I need to give break is after, suppose I enter 1, it will do addition and then it will come out to this particular bracket here. If I forget to give the break, it will also show the result of addition as well as subtraction. 
I'll do that during testing so you'll understand how the break statement works. So let's try to first compile this and see if there are any errors. So we seem to be lucky. Let's try to do addition first. Okay. So, okay, I did one mistake. I never ask the user to enter the two numbers. All right, so let's me go back and ask the user to enter the two numbers. So next step is printf, enter two numbers. Okay, enter two numbers. And then I'm going to say scanf percent %d, percent %d, address of a comma address of b. All right, so I'm going to ask the user to enter two numbers. I'm taking out this excess percentage D. Sorry, there should be one more percentage D. So I'm going to read two numbers. Once he says addition or subtraction, I'm going to read two numbers. So now let's try to run and see what happens. Okay, let's say addition, I enter one. Okay, now it's asking me enter two numbers. Let me enter four and five. So it should print the result. Addition of is 9 is equal to 4 plus 5. So addition of 4 plus 5 is 9. Addition 9 is equal to 4 plus 5. It depends on how you want to format. For me, the concept is important. So I'm not too bothered about left or right and all this stuff. I'm trying to show it like C here. So 9 is equal to 4 plus 5 or you can say 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. It's up to you. Let's try to run it for one more operator. Let's run it for the mod operator. Okay. Let's enter. 50 and say let's say 6 all right so what what should be the 6 8 is 48 so the remainder should be 2 so it's showing 2 50 mod 6 the remainder happens to be 2 so this program seems to be doing fine now i'll create a problem and show you what is going to happen suppose i take the break out of multiplication okay i'll just put it out in a comment so you will now know what will be the problem if i take out the break statement let's run this program okay I am going to say, say do multiplication. I enter 3. Ask me two numbers. I say uh, 4 and let's say 2. All right. Doesn't matter. 4 and 2. Just see what happens. It's given me multiplication 8 as 4 into 2. It's also done the remainder. The reason being because I forgot to give the break or I commented out the break. It executed the case 3 as well as case 4. Now just is to be sure that it's working for the other case. Suppose I enter 5 or any number it is simply going to quit okay here is a mistake because if i had to give a selected an option quit it should not ask me to enter two numbers so let's go ahead and fix that okay so let's come back and let's try to fix that so how we can fix that quite easy so here i can ask the question if option greater than or equal to 1 and option less than or equal to 4 okay as long as the option is between 1 and 4 I am going to read the two numbers or I am going to ask the user to enter the two numbers if the option happens to be anything other than 1 and 4 then I am not bothered or I am not going to ask the user to enter any number okay I am not asking the user to enter any two numbers now let's try to take a look at this and see if it really runs so let me enter the option 5 okay so it should just say quit it should not ask me two numbers now let's be sure it's working in the other case we have not done subtraction so we can give it a shot to do subtraction okay sometimes the server doesn't like us so it just gives us a Okay, let me try to save this program, reconnect back to the server and just try to run it again. Okay, so let me repaste this program here. Get rid of this chap and let's try to. Okay. Let's try the subtraction. Let me give input as two. Answer as sorry numbers as 300 and 56 let's see what is the answer 
So subtraction of 356 happens to be 244. That means the switch case is working perfectly in all cases. Just be sure you understood this particular simple program. Try to execute this. Try to remove the break. Okay. Try to add a break. Try to remove a semicolon. Try to do some mistakes and see whether you have really understood the concept.